at least one in five athletes will undergo a brain injury during the course of their career. Brain injury occurs when the brain slams into the skull both front and back or side to side. What we would like to do potentially is provide more stability to the brain inside the skull. It's all very obvious sometimes when you see a player take one large hit and doesn't get up quite so quickly. But there are other issues involved like repetitive hits. Players will undergo multiple factorial logarithmic hits occurring one building on top of the other throughout the course of a practice or a game and in the long run that may be even worse than one large impact. The helmet is a great tool in the prevention of a head injury but it doesn't really do very much to protect the acceleration and subsequent deceleration of the brain inside the skull. Finally, we have something that protects your athletes in a place where they weren't protected prior, inside the skull. The Q collar is the first and only device that protects the brain from these subconcussive injuries. The science behind the Q collar is mind boggling in its simplicity. When you put the Q collar on, you place it around the lower portion of your neck. It gently compresses on your internal jugular veins. But by placing that pressure, it increases the blood around your brain inside of your skull. So you don't get that motion back and forth. You no longer get the brain moving against the inner tables of the skull. The data behind the Q collar is really compelling. These were clinical trials on large numbers of athletes, high school developing brains using imaging. There were objective findings on MRIs that you were able to measure, showing the difference that the Q collar made in the athletes wearing it versus non-wearing it. There is no real question anymore. The athletes that are making this part of their protective gear are more protected. But what is the most important thing that you have in your arsenal, your brain.